Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English and one of the most important topic of English grammar that is tenses. Yes, because if you can understand the tenses, the logic behind it, you can never make any error in English sentences. You can form sentences properly, you can speak and you can make great communication. You can pass the exact message what you want to pass to the others. So what are tenses? Tenses defines the time of an action. When that time and what situation it happened, obviously with the help of tense, you are defining it. Yes, so hold together. It's very simple. We all know that we categorize time into three phases, the past, which already happened, the present and in the future. So past, present and future and there are four substates of tenses. So hold together 12 tenses. If we can understand the difference between these 12 tenses, we can get the command on these tenses. You can become flawless in English, right? Both in competitive exams for the verbal ability and for the speaking, you cannot avoid tenses. So let's make it very simple. Let's understand the small, small logics and the do's and do nots of tenses. You can happily, you know, great, uh, great, great command on using the tenses. Now let's start with the present tense. Fine. Now present tense, again, the four states, simple present tense, right? Continuous present tense and present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense. Now, without knowing the V1, V2, V3, right? If you go back to our parts of speech sessions, we have, while we were learning verbs, I clearly told that the greatest, you know, uh, deal is to know the V1, V2, V3 of the, you know, some uh, words like the common verbs, eat, eat, eaten, V1, V2, V3. So without knowing V1, V2, V3 of the common verbs, it is impossible to understand the tenses. So please make sure that you are learning V1, V2, V3 of at least the daily actions, which are common and important actions. Now, for example, we have taken a very general example of eating pizza, right? Pizza, many people like it or you don't like it, but it is an example. Okay. Now, if you see the first tense, which is simple present tense, simple present tense is an irregular action, an action which you do because of habit or because of some, you know, uh, responsibility, etc, etc. But you are doing it regularly, right? Like going to temple. It is a habit regularly in the sense. Don't take the literal meaning of it, but you have the habit of doing it. Okay, maybe once in a week, twice in a week, week, etc. So like I go to walk. Yes, if you have a habit of doing walking for better health, that is a regular action. So similarly, if you have the habit of eating pizza, now what is a simple present tense? I eat pizza daily. Now in simple present tense, the verb form is always V1. Eat is V1. Similarly, I told I go to temple. So go is V1. So it's very simple. So sentence structure we all know subject plus verb plus object. So we are using V1 in simple present tense. Always V1. Okay. Now present continuous tense. Continuous, the word itself is giving a hint that the action is happening. Right? Action is happening continuously. And th this state is called as continuous tense. Okay. So in present continuous tense, you can say I am eating pizza because you are still continuing that action. So eating V1 plus ING, the work form is V1 only, but to indicate the continuous state, you are saying V1 plus ING. So similarly, I'm singing a song, right? I am cooking some vegetable. So V1 plus ING in present continuous steps. I am eating pizza. Present perfect tense. One line definition of perfect tense is present perfect tense is an action which you have just finished. Okay. An action you have just finished. So I have eaten the whole pizza, maybe one minute back, two minutes back, but an action you have just finished. So you should not confuse it with past tense. It is an action which you have just finished. So 
I have eaten the whole pizza. First time in this tense, you will be using V3. You will be using V3 because eat, V3 is eaten. V2 is A2 or ate that you will use in past tense, but I have eaten the whole pizza. Now, in, uh, when it comes to perfect tense, this is important. Have. If it is a direct person, I am saying have. I have eaten the whole pizza. But if I am talking about another person, the second person, she has eaten the whole pizza. Have becomes has if it is the second person. Okay? But if it is plural, they again have only. Has is only for second person. If you are addressing more than one person, obviously, they have eaten the whole pizza. So this have and has, this is a one clear indication of first person that is a direct person or the second person. Right? Now the last tense, a very rarely used tense, but it's very important. That is present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense. Okay? Now what is perfect continuous tense? It's an action which you have been doing for a long time. I have been eating pizza for two hours. Suddenly somebody asks you, like, since two hours, what are you doing? I have been eating pizza for two years, two hours, sorry. So, have been plus V1 plus ING. Again, the work form is very simple because it is continuous. So, you are using the same V1 plus ING. But, have been because first person. If we are telling you about a second person, she has been eating the pizza for two hours. Again, same, if plural, they have been eating the pizza for two hours. An action which have been happening for long time. That is simple, so present perfect continuous tense. Four states for all the tenses, be it be present, be it be past, be it be future. Simple tense is there, continuous tense is there, perfect tense is there, perfect continuous tense is there. Only the usage of verbs, whether it is V1, V2, V3, and the difference between the direct person and the second person. That's all you should need to understand. Now, you can take this example, you can substitute the verbs, like drinking, running, or whatever it might be, and you can gain perfection on it. So this is all about present tense and its substates. Now let's move on to the past tense. Simple past tense. I ate pizza yesterday. I ate pizza yesterday. Simple past tense is nothing but an action which has been completed. The action got completed. And what verb you are using? V2. Eat, ate, eaten. So, go, went, gone. Similarly, I ate pizza yesterday. You are telling something which happened in the past. Okay? Now, past continuous tense. I was eating pizza when you arrived. See, I was. Of course, was is indicating past tense. I was eating pizza. Whenever there is continuous tense, what word we are using? V1 plus ing. Whatever tense it is, continuous means V1 plus ing. I was eating pizza when you arrived. Now, you might be thinking, why this second sentence? Obviously, when will you describe a past action which you are doing continuously, Maybe somebody, somebody will basically asking a question. What were you doing when I came? So you are telling that I was eating pizza when you arrived. Okay. So an action which you have been doing in the past, when another action happened, that is why two verbs, this verb is also in the V2 form. This verb also is in the V2 form. So again, I was eating pizza when you arrived. What is this action now? Past perfect tense. An action which just got completed when another action happened. So that's why I had eaten whole pizza when you arrived. Again, when there is perfect tense, the verb is V3. So I had eaten the whole pizza when another action happened, that is when somebody came. Similarly, past perfect continuous tense. An action which has been happening in the past for a long time when another action happened. I had been eating pizza for two hours when you arrived. 
this action have been happening in the past continuously when another action happened. I had been eating pizza for two hours when you arrived. It is as simple as that. Only thing is the verbs will change according to the state of the tense and the usage of have and has should be taken care. That's it. Now let's move on to the future tense. So in future tense, again the same four substates that is simple future tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense and perfect continuous of future tense. Okay. Now see the simple future tense. It's very simple. I will eat pizza tomorrow. You are telling about an action which you are going to do in the future. Okay. You are taking the help of will plus v1. Verb is again v1 only. You are just taking the help of will. Will because you are sure. If you are not sure you can say shall or may. Okay. But I am just giving about the indication of a future action which I am going to do compulsorily. So that's why I will eat, eat pizza tomorrow. Will plus v1. Now, if you see the future continuous tense, you are telling about an action which you will be doing continuously in the future. That's why I will be eating pizza when you arrive. Okay, because somebody, your friend is telling that tomorrow at 10.30 I am going to come to your home. What you will be doing? So maybe 10.15 I will start eating my pizza, that's my breakfast time. So that's why you are telling, I will be eating pizza when you arrive. So will be plus v1 plus ing because we have told right whatever tense it might be past future present tense continuous means v1 plus ing okay will be plus v1 plus ing shall be or may be that is a how much sure about your action only for sure actions it is will this is what the perfect tense of the future so future perfect tense i will have eaten the whole pizza by the time you arrive. An action which you will be just finishing in the future. An action which you will be just finishing because remember this word just finishing. Okay and that's why only in perfect tense you are using V3. So obviously I will have eaten, eaten is the V3 as we discussed. I will have eaten the whole pizza by the time you arrive. In future some action will happen and you will be finishing an action just you know by that time. Last tense is future perfect continuous tense. An action which you will be doing for long time in the future, maybe when some other action is supposed to happen. That is why I will have been eating pizza for two hours when you arrive. An action which you will be doing for long time in the future. Okay, so that's why you are taking the help of will have been plus v1 plus ing. Okay. So that is the difference. So by nature, simple tenses are action which is completed or which you do daily, right? Or an action which you are going to do in future. What are the continuous tenses? Either in simple, either in the present, past or future. You are t this uh, tense is about doing an action continuously. What is the perfect one? V3 is coming into the picture. An action which is being just completed. And the fourth one, actions which are happening for long time that are perfect continuous tenses okay so here is the final table which includes the 12 tenses have a glance now the same example of eating pizza okay so now the only thing which we need to remember is what is the verb form whether it is v1 or v2 or v3 and what is the usage of have and has like first person second person and how it is changing from tense to tense. This you need to do with multiple uh, examples as I told and when you keep in practice it will be a bit complicated but once you gain command on tenses I think there will be nothing which can stop you in speaking proper English and obviously maybe there will be some doubts or many doubts which will be followed after this session. I request you to please Ask, doubts, ask the doubts in the comment section so that I can come with the clarification. Okay, thank you for watching.